In the results view, you can double click on a simulation in the optimization cases table to view detailed results for that simulation. The simulation results window is organized into several tabs. The cost summary, cash flow, electrical, and emissions tabs are always included. The fuel summary tab appears whenever you have any fuel consuming components in your system. In addition, each component of the system is given a tab that summarizes its operation. The cost summary tab is displayed first. We can see the system costs in terms of net present cost or annualized cost. And we can break it down by component or by cost type. The compare function is really useful. We'll cover that in another video. The cash flow tab is where we can find the yearly expenses and revenue for the system over the life of the project. We can view it as a chart or as a table. The electrical tab summarizes the operation of the system. We can see the contribution of the two diesel generators and of the wind turbine to the total energy production. We can also see the excess energy, which is energy that was produced but couldn't be used, and several other outputs. The bar chart at the bottom shows the contribution of each generation source on a monthly basis. At the bottom of the window, there are buttons to view and export the time series data. The plot button brings up the plot time series window. The hourly plot is displayed first. We can select from a list of quantities in the right pane and they are plotted in the graph on the left. In this window there is also a monthly tab which shows us the monthly average. You can select the value you want plotted from the drop down menu in the top right. The profile tab plots the daily profile for each month. Again, we can select the quantity to plot from the drop-down menu at the top right. The DMAP gives us a graphical display of every hour in the year. The DMAP is explained in more detail in the electric load video. The histogram gives us another way to visualize the simulation. I can hold my mouse over one of the bars and see that the load was between 100 and 105 kilowatts 1.14 percent of the time. I can change the quantity plotted with the same menu at the top left. CDF stands for Cumulative Distribution Function and gives similar info. For example, here I can see that the 75 kilowatt diesel spends almost 70% of its time turned off and never operates below its minimum load, since Homer won't allow that. Another 11% or so of its time is spent at minimum load for a total of about 80%. The output is around 68 kilowatts or less 100% of the time which means that it never exceeds 68 kilowatts output. Finally, the duration curve gives us another take on that, with the power output on the y-axis instead of the x, and with the number of time steps instead of the frequency. Thank you for watching the Homer Software's training series. We are here to help you. If you are a trial user, please contact us at support at homerenergy.com for more information on how to become a licensed user. We have additional training available for our licensed users. Visit gethomertraining.com to learn more.